Hi friends, this is Ray with Angel Messenger doing a reading for you today. We're going to be using the Psychic Tarot Oracle Card Deck by John Holland. This, these cards look like this. They are the first deck on top here. And of course we're also going to be using the combination deck that I've created. The messages from your angels cards and the dolphins and mermaids oracle card decks both by Doreen Virtue. So it's a combination reading here today. And I've also got these little animals here so that you can choose which pile you would like to have your reading from. This one here is a little dragon. He's gold and white. That's for that pile. And then this here is a little snow owl. And this over here is a pegasus. Take just a minute and think about which pile you would like your reading from based on the animals that are there before you or the card, the cards themselves, the position they're in or whatever you feel called to. And if you need more time to make your decision, just pause the video. We're gonna go on ahead and do the readings. So I'm gonna start with the dragon pile. Okay, so the dragon is a symbol of freedom, independence, fire, and passion. The dragon encourages us to find our passion and to take chances to risk developing our strength and power. Um, it's a symbol of good luck change, vitality, majesty, and longevity. Dragons are also protectors. So it's a good, uh, a good protector, a good animal to have as a symbol for yourself. Put that over here. I'll lay these cards out first. I'm going to lay them all out first, actually. So you have the third eye chakra. Spiritual Strength card. I'm trying to lay them all out next to each other, maybe. But make sure that you can see them all. And we have Break Free and Ariel. Okay. A little bit of glare on there. Let's see if I can adjust that. Okay, not really. Okay, so It looks like you're kind of going through some sort of spiritual change or challenge, possibly. We've got over here, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And then we have break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So maybe you're trying things that, um, or need to try things that are not necessarily things that are normal to you or, or maybe aren't in your normal box of tricks that you normally try. Um, and this is going to call upon your spiritual strength, like more of your inner self than normal. It's going to call upon your outer self as well. Your, your, um... 
avatar self, if you will. And it's going to require you to open your third eye chakra and to call upon your strength within that, that spiritual center, that battery pack that you have in the third eye. So if you have not really worked on your third eye or you're not working on it now, I would say to work on that, to focus on that. Do some uh, meditations that work on your third eye. Do some visualizations of, of things that you'd like to manifest. Work on that with your third eye as well. Um, and do some meditations where you're focusing on connecting with some stronger spiritual energies than yourself. So um, if you connect with goddess energies, I would work on maybe connecting with some goddess energies that work with the things that you are having difficulty with. So look up some um, goddesses that work with A, B, or C, whatever you're, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever you're having trouble with, or archangels, or, um, you know, different energies that are focused on dealing with whatever you're having trouble with, and, and work with them because you're needing a bigger, a bigger energy than yourself at the moment. And learn to work with them and learn to incorporate them into your prayers. And this is actually, I'm, I'm seeing, and, and maybe too because of the, the dragon, but um, there's something with Kundalini energy here too. And so it's. I feel very much, even though we have the third eye chakra, I feel very much like this is starting with the base of your spine and coming up through the third eye chakra. So it's it's not just about the third eye battery, it's about the base of your, it's about the root chakra battery and coming up through all those battery systems that you have within your body. So work on some chakra clearing, um, work on... Uh, actually, you know, there's a meditation, Chakra Healing with the Angels, that you can get for free in our Angel Messenger store. Um, not the Compassionate Marketplace, but the store that's within our website at angelmessenger.net. It's free, or you can donate something if you would like to, but um, it will help you to balance your chakras, and it connects with the angels and, and things too. So that might be something for you to look at. But I, this is very positive. Like, I don't think this is something that you have hard thing, a hard time doing or there's a huge negative aspect to it or anything like that. It's a positive thing. It's a positive time of growth for you. Okay. So I think that's it for this one. We'll move to the next one. I hope that was helpful to you. So next we're going to do the owl. I love snow owls. They're one of my favorite, favorite little beings. Okay, so owls are, they are known for wisdom. If you have the owl as your spirit guide, it's a totem for wisdom, um, foresight, intelligence, protection, intuition. They are known as messengers between humans and the spirit world. So, actually, this seems like messages from the spirit world, messages from the other side. See how she's touching a star here? This seems like it's a message from loved ones. I'm feeling this is a message from loved ones. This is a message from angels. And this is what is coming out of this. 
so here we have a message from the angels that says, Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. This one is a message from loved ones. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. And I'm, you know, that saying like reach for the moon. If you miss, at least you'll land among the stars. I think it's Neil Donald Walsh maybe was the, the writer of that quote. Um, it seems like there's something you're working toward or I don't know. We're in the, Olymp the Olympics and I feel like it's like this Olympic goal. It seems like this huge thing that you've got before you and maybe it seems like too much of a task, but keep going for it and keep pushing because if you don't, you're not going to make it as far as you want, want to or as far as you can. And if you do, you're going to be able to make it maybe further than you, well, further than you would have, but um, it seems like an unexpected goal, and I'm not sure what that means, but it's definitely something that brings harmony. Hope that makes sense. So it's it's definitely it's like I, I'm not sure it's the goal you have now, but if you keep working toward the goal you have now, you're going to get something else instead, and it's going to be really good. So that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Keep working toward the goal you have now, because there's something else that's kind of going to be a sideways a sideways thing that is better. Like, you're happy with that. And I don't want you to get disappointed or disillusioned or feel disillusioned by what I'm saying because if you don't keep moving ahead and don't keep pushing yourself, then you won't reach the goal that you end up needing and wanting to reach. And your guides and your angels are both saying that you, you deserve it and your angels are asking you to let them help you and so this message is about saying keep going keep moving ahead keep moving forward we want to help you there will likely be signs along the way so keep your mind and heart open for those signs as well and it may even have something to do with owls so keep your mind and heart open okay I hope that was helpful to you Okay, and now for Pegasus. All right, let's see. This one seems a bit different here. Okay, spiritual union, okay. Obstacles and challenges. Treasure chest, that's nice. Crystal and Archangel Uriel. Kind of running out of space. There's a few extra cards in this one. Okay. So we have Spiritual Union. But there seems to be a break in the path. So we're showing obstacles and challenges. There's a break in the path here. But it seems to be like there's these opportunities to heal this, to, to repair this. And the ultimate goal is spiritual union. And it might not be like, it could be a relationship, like this is showing a relationship, but a spiritual union between two forces. So um, it could be a business relationship, it could be a marital relationship, it could be just the combination of two things. So what is going to fix that? Could he have something to do with this unforeseen windfall of new abundance? But right now, it seems like we're over here. We're over in this part right here. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open up to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And then 
crystal, you have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Um, so she's, this is like where you're at now. Like it's telling you, this card is telling you there's positive things coming. So this abundance that's coming is good and is going to help you with the obstacles and challenges that you're facing, that you see. And these, I definitely feel like these are opportunities and some of them may be too small that you won't even know they're there. But I feel like I feel like some of them have already maybe kind of passed. And then some of them are more in the forefront that will be able to repair things for spiritual union. And it feels like this is like a, a transformation that happens, a new beginning that takes place. That's for Pegasus people. So I hope that is helpful to you. And I hope this session was helpful for you. And remember that these readings are for when you find them. So if you find them the week I post them, that's great. But if you find them six months later, that is also useful to you for when you find them. So thank you for listening and I hope you have a blessed day.